Yo, yo, RJ here with Tripcoms. Today we're going to talk some NBA basketball. In particular, I wanted to talk about the rash of injuries that has struck this year's NBA season. Unfortunately, a lot of our favorite players here at Tripcoms have, you know, either been playing below their standards or have missed a big chunk of the season or in some cases have missed the entire season due to injury. We certainly hope for a healthy conclusion to the NBA regular season and an exciting NBA playoffs as usual. But until then, let's go ahead and review all of the key injuries that we've seen so far in this NBA season. We'll start off with the Atlanta Hawks who have a pretty big injury to their big center Al Horford. He's out for the entire season with a torn pectoral and to make matters worse, his backup center Piero Antic has been injured as well. The Boston Celtics really haven't had any big injuries so far at least, other than their guard Rajon Rondo is still dealing with uh, that surgically repaired knee. Uh, moving on to the Brooklyn Nets, they also have a big center who is out for the season. Uh, their star center, Brooke Lopez, suffered a broken foot. So he is out for the year and we'll have to wait till next season to see Big Brooke again. The Chicago Bulls may have had the biggest injury of all. Uh, their guard Derrick Rose is out for the season yet again. He has the torn meniscus and it's just too bad. There was a lot of hype for D. Rose. We really were hoping to see him get back into his style of play on the court where he can really be dominating but suffered another bad injury. We're still holding out hope that we see him in the offseason but we're really not too optimistic here at Tripcoms. Dallas Mavericks have an injury to their forward Sean Marion. He's actually dealing with issues with his shooting shoulder. That's just killing his production. He's been around for a while, so you you know you obviously expect his production to tail off. Uh, an injury to his shooting shoulder does not help. Uh, the Denver Nuggets had a pretty bad injury to guard Nate Robinson. He's suffered a torn left ACL, so he's going to miss the entire rest of the season really puts him in jeopardy of missing the start of next season as well. And uh, their talented center, JaVale McGee, is also out indefinitely. Of course, uh, Big McGee is the Dikembe Mutombo impersonator. So hopefully he can get back out there. Uh, getting to the Los Angeles Lakers, the Black Mamba has still not fully healed from his knee injury uh, that happened last year. So he says he'll be back sometime in late February. The Lakers aren't doing too well, so we'll see. The Los Angeles Clippers have had a huge injury to their superstar point guard, Chris Paul. Now, he went down back on January 3rd with a shoulder injury, so at that time he was given a six-week timetable for return. He's currently targeting a return for February 9th, so that's rapidly approaching. We really hope to see CP3. We're huge fans of the point guard position here at Tripcom's. Obviously, CP3 is a monster. The Clippers have been doing pretty good without him. If they can get him back, uh, that should make him a strong contender for this year's championship. The Memphis Grizzlies have an injury to their playmaker, Mike Conley, another point guard. He's been dealing with an ankle sprain, as well as the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, they've been dealing with a injury to their guard, Drew Holiday. Um, he actually has a leg injury, so he's out indefinitely. Another talented guard. And on top of that, his, his uh, teammate power forward, Ryan Anderson, a guy we've liked for quite a while. Of course, he's, he's been around. He's a pretty consistent performer. Um, he's going to miss the rest of the season with some uh, neck and back issues. Moving on to the good old New York Knickerbockers. Uh, their big center, Andrea Bargnani, actually called his own elbow injury, quote, terrible. He's out indefinitely right now. The Knicks, they have a below 500 record, but they're still in the, you know, the hunt for that final playoff spot in the East. If they can get the big guy back, that'll really help their push, help their chances a lot, of course. Uh, moving on to one of our favorite teams, one of the best teams this season, the Oklahoma City Thunder, home to the beast, <laughs> Kevin Durant. But they have a huge injury that they're dealing with. Their stud point guard, Russell Westbrook, has missed a lot of time this season. He's dealing with a knee injury. 
Uh, we are getting closer to his return. Oklahoma's been one of the better teams without him, so they should have him back soon. Uh, the Phoenix Suns have been without their young buck point guard, Eric Bledsoe. He's out indefinitely. So, uh, of course, he's got a lot of talent. Um, we just haven't seen too much of it this season, and we'll see when we can actually get him back this year. And last but not least, the San Antonio Spurs are dealing with a couple of pretty uh, pretty big injuries. Um, of course, Manny Ginobili often injured. He's dealing with a strained hamstring. Several others, including uh, Danny Green, uh, Kawhi Leonard, as well as Tiago Splitter, have also been nursing injuries there for the Spurs. So that's it. That's the complete rundown of all the injuries. Thank you guys for checking us out here at Tripcom's Basketball. I will definitely start getting into the playoff contenders and the standings and some of our favorite players this year. So make sure to stay tuned. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.